So John, welcome to our call today. Thank you, Lynn. Appreciate the opportunity. We're going to share John's story. He's got a brilliant one. He's one of the OG CDLPs. So John is a CDLP. He is based in the great state of Texas. He owns yeah. the he owns the domain name, TexasDivorceLender.com. You started the business back in 1993, so you've been around. I, how I sort of got my feet wet in the divorce world uh, came about with a, a couple of things at the beginning. Um, one is uh, I started noticing that all my new borrowing clients that had been through divorce had had just been financially damaged and it could have been credit could have been their assets it also could have been um issues with their divorce decree that sort of sabotaged their ability to to qualify for a loan down the road and so i never really acted on that at the time but i tucked it away uh, um, for later and then the the second event that happened uh for me is that i was connected with a family law attorney in 2003. And, and for those of you in Texas that remember our, how our licensing was before the national licensing went into effect, um, we were licensed by the state. And at the time when they created the, the licensing, they exempted attorneys from the mortgage loan officer qualifications. They, they still had to be sponsored by a broker, but they automatically qualified to be a loan officer from day one without ever knowing a thing, which became problematic in, in my story a little bit later. Um, and so this attorney was referred to me. He said, John, I want to do kind of a one-stop shop for divorcing clients. I want to do the divorce and I want to do the, the refinance for the buyout, but I need a, a broker to sponsor me. And so I thought this is a great opportunity for both of us. So I I brought him in, sponsored him. In 2011, you got involved with this divorce providers networking group. And I want to I want to jump and bring us a little bit current, but it's important to mention that you've been involved in the Divorce Lending Association since 2014. Like you are celebrating your 10-year anniversary right alongside with Jody. And I think that's phenomenal. And first of all, I want to just pause for a moment and just like seriously applaud you for recognizing the importance of being involved and sticking with it with her and the association. So thank you so much for all of that support. Well, it, it was an amazing start, an amazing relationship uh, from the beginning. Um, I, I was already in that realm, but uh, finding somebody like Jody that was building the platform um, was just the perfect fit, and it has been ever since. And for you guys that started pretty early on, and for you guys that are fairly new, you cannot believe the uh, strides and improvements that Jody and Lynn um, have made over the years. It's just, it's night and day. And so you've got so many tools now that we never had back then, and, and it's just one thing after another, the improvements are just amazing. So uh, I was very fortunate to get connected with Jody back then, but it was meant to be. Jody has got this phenomenal brain, right? <laughs> that just comes up and the creativity and and I'm just fortunate that I get to, you know, be one of her one of her soldiers in this in this quest to help. And so we appreciate that. John, let's jump into a little bit, take it back to you and why should they be branding themselves as a CDLP? instead of a loan officer? Well, it's really for credibility, I think is the, the main thing. Um, when when we first started out, nobody knew what a CDLP was. Um, now, everybody in the legal world knows. If they don't know, they're, they're in the dark. But um, the attorneys, financial planners, uh, mental health professionals, they all know what a CDLP is because mm -hmm. we've done such a good job of promoting it. And that's how we should be all be branded um, if when we're working in this, this uh, niche. Why don't you share some advice for 
not even just the newbies. I think for everybody on this call, we are all in a place in this market right now that we can all use inspiration. And listen, you came up with some shiny nuggets today, my friend. So what advice do you have for all of us? Yeah, so I, I thought mainly of newbies, but you know, we're, we all need uh, help from time to time or inspiration. And so uh, I just made a few notes that I'd like to share. Um, you know, going down the, the path of being a divorce lending professional, um, so many people join and then they, they fade away. You never see them again. They never take any of the classes. They never, um, they're just gone. And those are the people that um, you, you hear the, the next shiny object. Well, this is not a shiny object. Um, right. This is, this is a, a, a passion. And so for the people that don't have the passion will we'll fade away. Um, so I, I tell people that are considering this, and I've had several people uh, Lynn, that you and Jody have referred to me to to talk to him about joining, but um, I tell everybody be realistic. You know, if if you're not passionate about this, um, it's just gonna you're not gonna continue. Um, and then from a personal standpoint, plug in any anytime there's a a, a Zoom call or going through the modules in our in our education online, I mean, that's, that's huge. Um, master the, our guidelines. Okay. That's something that is really important to me. Uh, revisit the, the, our course materials. Um, uh, this book, Jody's book, uh, sits very close to my desk and you'll see it's got, uh, uh, post-it notes throughout. Well, hold um, her book up again, because how many people here knew Jody actually wrote a book other than because it says it in her bio, okay? Mm -hmm. And then if you knew she wrote a book, how many of you have purchased it and or read the book? Good job, ladies. It, it's an amazing book. Um, it's full of highlights by me and, like I said, post-it notes. And it's really a quick, if you need a quick help on something, you can pretty much find it um, in the book. Um, let's see what else I, I would tell people, all of us that, um, persistence, you know, think of this as a long game. It's, it's going to take time to build it. And, um, uh, and when you feel discouraged, um, just keep showing up. That's what I do. Um, um, and then one of the things that you had already mentioned Lynn earlier, but um, it took me a while to, to get the confidence, uh, in approaching the attorneys. Um, and it was with the realization that most attorneys are not smarter than us. We, we, we put them up on a pedestal, like you said, Lynn, and, um, that they are just, they, and I, I told Lynn, they just have a different superpower than we do yeah. and their superpower, our superpower is knowledge of the guidelines and the ability to structure um, lending solutions. And so, um, John, I just want to really take a moment and say, thank you. You shared some incredible nuggets today. I hope everybody took really, really great notes. Uh, if there's anything you guys need from John, or if there's any handouts or anything you want to get connected, just let us know, find John on, you know, find a CDLP.com. He's out in Texas. Definitely connect with him and pick his brain some more. John, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much for being part of our fireside chat. We appreciate everything you do for us here at the DLA. You make my job much easier.